Hey there guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is uh, Redtail Ray. I uh, wanted to show you guys uh, and highlight, point out my uh, my new favorite toy. Um, what I got here is a Trek 6 Series 6000 or Trek 6000. Um, it is their mountain bike, it's not their road bike. Um, I've been able to find out a few things about this bike, but if you look up, right now at least, um, even, even just this afternoon when I was doing some internet research, this is a very unique model of the Trek 6 series. Um, first and foremost, I'll point out that uh, instead of rock shocks, this uh, Trek model comes with, I believe, XSR, XCR, or SR Sun Tour lockouts. Um, it does offer, I believe, that full 4 inch, same as the rock shocks do, um, but it's just a little bit different. I'm not sure about the crank arms or the derailleur as far as what the current model is, or the American model. Um, but the big difference between this one and the uh, the one that I have is that this model is equipped with pneumatic disc brakes. Um, all the ones that I've been able to find reviews on or pictures on have um, mechanical or cable actuated disc brakes. Uh, it's really quite interesting, but you can see right there it says mineral oil and coming down, well I should actually you know, flip the bike around. model number here a little bit easier maybe so what I can tell from is the Shimano BRM 486 and again these are filled with uh, mineral oil <clears throat> instead of a cable to actuate those disc brakes let's see it on this side a little bit better so that's the one of the biggest differences that I've been able to find out about this bike compared to um, the ones that I found on the internet. Now, the guy I got it from is a good friend of mine, and he was telling me that he was um, told when he bought this bike from a local bike shop um, about four or five years ago, I believe, maybe three or four years ago, is that these bikes were a European model of the Trek 6 Series or the Trek 6000 that were just kind of like a prototype for the American market to see if people would bite on the pneumatic disc brakes and and, and some different stuff like that. Uh, I'm not sure how accurate that is or if that's in any way or somewhat true, but story goes is that uh, there's a shipping container full of them and there's a failure to purchase or a failure to buy or somebody made some kind of mistake and there's a, an auction and this bike, uh, local bike company through distributor was able to get their hands on a few of these models and get them up here to Minnesota. So I'm, I'm not quite sure again where or why or how this thing was set up the way it was, but I ended up with it and I think it's a phenomenal bike. Uh, I just got the new V rubber tires on it. These are the speed. Um, still got to play around with those a little bit. They're not the highest quality tires. I got them from, from a price point for a great, great deal, like $9 per tire. But uh, yeah. Um, I got the speeds because they're a little bit more of a solid center tread block. As you can see, I just focus on this real quick and show you guys. But these are the tires. Um, they got a really, really nice middle tread block instead of a wide spaced out mountain bike tire. Um, just to kind of speed up the actual, the surface of the wheel is actually a lot narrower than a traditional mountain bike tire. So um, you gain a little bit of speed that way. Um, but it still has nice, you know, um, tread blocks, and big block tread. It's not too deep, so you can still get through some of that stuff for regular mountain biking activities. But for me, I'm using this as a commuter to work. It's about six mile one way trek to work. And I did just take this bike last week. <laughs> it's the end of April right now, but a week ago I had to get my truck work done. Um, playing around with some transmission uh, issues that I had. So I bike this thing to work. It only took me about 26 mile or 26 minutes and three miles because the shop is halfway between my house and my workplace. Um, but the big kicker was it was 21 degrees 
that day. So I'll be making a couple videos on my bike and my bike kit and probably have some uh, uh, first hand views or point of view later on the summer, some trail riding. It could be pretty exciting. <laughs> Looking forward to. Um, but it's the last day of April. It's, it's April 30th today and it's still 30 some odd degrees and rainy and miserable so none of the mountain bike trails are open. So I'm just getting itchy waiting to get out there and do some trail riding but it's uh for me it's a great exercise it's a great alternative to spending uh a lot of money on gas per week for uh 10 to 12 mile per gallon tahoe that i drive and uh it's a great way to get outdoors and and uh, have some fun and so this will be one of my hobbies this summer you guys will see some more videos on i'm gonna do a couple videos just this afternoon i'm trying to make some short videos but a, a few different videos on the gear that I use, um, the tools that I've acquired so far for, for the uh, for the bike, for emergency situations and whatnot. And then I'm going to do another video quick here on um, the clothing or the uh, the wear that I would use. Um, the clothing and accessories in my backpack and such, my, my entire kit. So uh, this is the first video of at least three or four maybe today. But I just thought I'd highlight the, uh, the bike that I'm going to be talking about. Again, is the Trek 6000, or the uh, 6 Series from Trek, and it is a few, year, few years old. Um, I have to look on the uh, date stamp to figure out exactly what year it is, but it's, it's definitely not a 2014 by any means. But this is my new toy, and compared to my last mountain bike, um, I'm very excited. This is a solid piece of machinery, and I'm very excited, very, very, very excited to get out and ride. So thanks for watching. Uh, I hope to see you guys in the following videos, and again, uh, if you got any questions or you want to see any highlights on a piece of gear or instrument that I've highlighted, let me know. I love making videos, um, obviously. It's a favorite hobby of mine. And uh, likes and subscriptions are always welcome. Um, thanks for watching Red Tail Ray, and I'll see you guys in the next video.